Dennis Kelly, Titans offensive tackle. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. Thanks for having me. All right, so December football. It, it, is, it is that time. Dennis Kelly, Chicago native. Do you like December football or are you like my wife, who's from the same area and hates December, January, and February? I like December football. You know, cold doesn't really bother me. I obviously like to credit the, the Windy City to that. You know, the cold up there hurts more than anything. You know, obviously December football, January into February, that's meaningful football. And so besides the fact that it's it's cold, it's also, uh, you know, the games are a lot more intense, a lot more competitive, you know, a lot more fun because of it. Now is the offensive line rule you can only wear sleeves in the cold if you wear sleeves in September. I had heard that. I, I think uh, Roos did that here. I think that was his rule. Where I've been, it do what you need to do to be ready to play. And so, you know, growing up, you would always see the old line and like the, the New England when they had their run and Matt Light, obviously being a Purdue guy, they'd have their AFC Conference Championship game and it's negative zero or whatever it was and and they're all sleeveless and you're like wow that's awesome god it's got to be cold though so <laughs> you know at least for me when you're playing you don't really feel it that much you don't really notice it you notice it more on the sidelines than you would on the field does the offensive line have more rules than any other position group on an nfl team yeah i would think so just because there's you know obviously at least five of us at a time and you know, if I'm doing something differently, then that affects the person next to me and the potentially the person next to him. And, and it can go all the way down or it might just go to two people or just three people. You know, there's offenses that has a call for literally every single situation that there could be. And then there's some offenses that are just kind of a blanket. This covers it all. Let's just go left, go right or, or, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I think with a combination of everyone trying to work together in the offensive line, I think it kind of takes the cake. Nate Davis has been a player that Mike Vrabel has been complimentary of with a lot of improvement in his second year. How gratifying has it been to you to see Nate grow up playing the position right beside you? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, Nate's playing really well. You can tell he the confidence is building even more and he's becoming a really good player for us. You know, obviously the last play of the game against Baltimore just it's, it's coming to my mind because it's fresh, but you know, he made a, a, a huge block there and you can see as he sees Derek's pulling away, if you watch the film, you can see Nate's, Nate celebrate, and you can tell that he's understanding, he, he's buying in, he's getting that confidence, like I mentioned, and, and, and it's showing. Dennis, what has it been like for you, in terms of being gratifying, that this year you came into the year as a starter, you've been a starter, and at age 30, you're now one of the guys, not one of the guys hoping to be one of the guys. Yeah, it's definitely it's a cool feeling. You know, I always I've always said that you play, especially at this level, you want to you want to be able to play and you want to be able to show that you belong up here. And you know, it's, it's taken a little bit longer than I think I initially uh, had hoped, but showing that I can play more than a handful of snaps or more in you know emergency duty, I think is one of those things that. I'll be able to look back and be like, at least, I, at least I was able to show that I did that. You know, there isn't that moment of like, you know, if I only got my chance or if only, you know, there's no kind of, not necessarily regret, but that looking back of like, you know, I never got a full, full crack at it. What are you most proud of in your NFL career so far? I would say, I, I'd like to say that the, the trust that the teams have put into me, you know, obviously I've been a backup most of my career. And when I would come in, the teams wouldn't change the game plan because they trusted that I would come in and, and do my job and being reliable and kind of being a, you know, a steady presence. There's something to be said about that, to be a reliable player for your team. And so I, I take a lot of pride in that. I thought you were going to say the touchdown catches. I, I really, <laughs> you got to be proud of that. I mean, you've scored touchdowns in the NFL, not a touchdown, multiple mm -hmm. touchdowns. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th those are cool moments and those are definitely things, you know, to tell stories about. But, you know, for me, it's, again, it's one of those things where being an offensive lineman, you know, touchdowns are cool, but maybe it's just the way I was brought up and the way I've, I've turned into the man that I am. I just want people to be able to trust me and, and count on me.